Hey Denise, it's John. I'm just showing you some pictures and uh, some information about that unit at 1660 Bay Avenue. That's the one that we couldn't get into. Um, if you look at the front there, it would be the top unit, the balcony there. Even though it says water view, it's really, you'd have to look over the tops of other houses and see part of the bay. So I wouldn't really call it that much of a water view. Uh, but it is relatively close to the beach, um, you know, just a couple of blocks away. Uh, you're on, you know, well, we drove there, you saw, so we're not that far away from the beach there. It is three bedrooms. I think it really has possibilities. I think it's listed right now at, uh, well, it's listed at 290. It's bank owned. It's foreclosed. Uh, it does need some work inside. Um, but it's a unit that I think we could probably get in the neighborhood of 250 or 260. Uh, and the work inside that's needed is really mostly cosmetic, you know, paint the walls. It's going to need new carpets um, and some flooring. Um, you know, the kitchen is dated, but the appliances look newer. You know, the, the cabinets look like they're from the 1980s. But everything seems to be functioning. Uh, in the living room, I noticed they put in new skylights, so they must have been leaking. Uh, and if you look at the bay windows there, when I was in there, I looked at the... Uh, right above the bay windows the the headboard above it seemed to be rotted out so that means it was wet and I don't know if that means that the water was coming from the skylights and dripping down and, and getting that all mushy or if there was a separate leak on the outside of the building and that may even be covered by the condo association that's more information that we would have to find out but um, it's not currently wet so I don't know if it's something they've already corrected but there is a lot of cosmetic work that would need to be done inside. You can't see on the carpets there, but there's a lot of debris and dirt, and it's just old. Um, also on that level is you know, a stand-up washer and dryer, which looks relatively newer and in good shape. But in that same room <clears throat> is the hot water heater and the furnace. And this is just a look at the hot water heater. Uh, and I took a close-up of the plumbing so Joe could take a look at it. But where there is an issue is with the... Uh, with the furnace. Uh, now this is a close-up and there's a, a tag on there uh, which I'll show you in a second from New Jersey Natural Gas. They came in to inspect it uh, just last week. I think it's October 30th or 31st um, and they rejected it and shut it off because they said the burner is flaring out uh, and I'll send you this picture separately so Joe can take a look at it and read it. Um, so I don't know if the furnace has to be replaced in total or if it just needs a new burner uh, but he would know more about that. So just keep in mind, you know, to get to the, the first level of this unit, you have to go up two flights of stairs. And that first level has two bedrooms, not a decent size, and they have a balcony outside um, that is shared with the unit next door, and then it has stairs going back down to the street. Uh, if you go up one more level, there's a, a spiral staircase here uh, that goes up to the third level that has uh, another uh, bedroom with a full bathroom and we can see that in a second so uh, the video that I have here is just a short look around uh, there's a decent amount of space up here um, it has storage uh, in a little attic space um, it also has a full bathroom here and a single single vanity um, so there's definitely possibilities you know, I mean it's, it is going to take some work but it doesn't appear to be anything structural it's mostly just cleaning up painting carpets or hardwood floors if you want them or whatever the case may be and then downstairs it has a two car garage uh, which is good so that you can get you know, off street parking especially during the summer so uh, the drawbacks are it does need work uh, I think the positive is that it has three bedrooms it has a decent amount of space uh, it does not have a great view but it is close to the ocean and the bay uh, so you could definitely get down there with bikes uh, it's in you know Ortley Beach there which is one of the areas that you wanted to look at so uh, I think it's worth taking a look let's go through it uh, let me know what you think and then uh, if you're gonna be down here on Sunday we'll look at this plus that uh, the other house there uh, on Brown you know, which is a little bit more expensive but if the owners motivated they may be willing to come down on price uh, maybe we can get that in the low to mid threes uh, but at least it'll give you a contrast and right now I'm looking up uh, anything else brand new that came on the market in the last two weeks since we, we've been out to see if there's anything else worth seeing. So take a look and we'll talk later. Alright, bye.